Ever wondered if HTML could do more than just display static content? Imagine building web applications without endless page reloads, messy AJAX requests, or the headaches of single-page applications. For years, this seemed out of reach, until HTMX arrived. Now, developers can harness the full power of dynamic interactions, all within simple HTML. Welcome to the story of HTMX, the tool transforming how we build the web. So what is HTMX, and what is it used for? HTMX is a UI library, written in JavaScript, that extends the capabilities of HTML with custom attributes. These attributes allow developers to use AJAX directly in HTML, perform CSS transitions, connect to WebSockets, and handle server-sent events. The main advantage HTMX provides is enabling partial page re-renders for server-side rendered HTML, similar to what a multi-page application does. Partial page re-renders are extremely useful when building modern web applications. So how it all started, and why is it rapidly gaining traction in the web development world? Before HTMX, HTML served as a basic tool for setting up the basics of web page and structuring content, like headings, paragraphs, lists, and links. But when it came to dynamic interaction, it needed external technologies help such as JavaScript and Ajax. HTML alone couldn't handle advanced real-time updates, such as data fetching or user interactions, without reloading the page. The story began in the early 90s, when Tim Berners-Lee introduced HTML to structure and display content on the web. It was perfect for a simpler web. Just static documents and basic text formatting, HTML grew over time with new tags for multimedia like video and audio and styling elements. But the core of HTML remained static. Everything was built around loading whole pages. Want a drop-down to update? A button to fetch new content? Sorry, HTML couldn't handle that alone. You had to bring in some help from JavaScript. However, dynamic technologies like JavaScript and Ajax allowed developers to fetch data from a server and dynamically update parts of a web page without refreshing the whole page. But even with all this magic, Ajax had side effects that started to show up. Because Ajax loads parts of a page dynamically without refreshing the URL, the content loaded via Ajax wasn't always accessible to search engines. This meant that in an Ajax-heavy site, important content could be hidden from search engines, making it harder for users to find the site organically. Developers had to implement SEO solutions like optimizing URL structures and following Google's recommendations for dynamic rendering, announced in 2015, to make the site SEO-friendly. That's when HTMX appeared, a tool that allows dynamic updates directly in HTML, letting you define behaviors right in your markup by adding attributes like hxget and hxpost, which tell the page to update dynamically without needing to trigger external JavaScript. The creation story of HTMX goes back to Carson Gross, a software engineer and the creator of both Intercooler.js and HTMX. Carson's journey began with the realization that modern web frameworks like React and Angular, while powerful, added unnecessary complexity to web development. His goal was to develop a solution that allowed developers to leverage the simplicity of HTML. Intercooler.js, the predecessor to HTMX, was Carson's first attempt at addressing this issue. In the JavaScript Jabber podcast, he explained that Intercooler was originally built in 2013 with the intention of creating a framework that followed Roy Fielding's original vision for REST, particularly focusing on hypermedia as the engine of application state. Carson describes it like this. The idea was to create a way to do IJAX in a very simple way, just using HTML attributes. So you could just add an attribute to an HTML element and it would make an AJAX request and update the page without having to write any JavaScript. After years of refining his ideas, Carson officially released HTMX1 on November 24th, 2020, marking a major milestone in its development. HTMX was seen as a more mature replacement for Intercooler, offering greater flexibility and providing a cleaner alternative to traditional JavaScript-based single-page applications. One of the key features in HTMX initial version was its support for all HTTP verbs, including get, post, put, patch, and delete, rather than just get and post. For example, you could have a form trigger a post request like this. The development of HTMX didn't stop with the success of its initial version. On January 26, 2024, the HTMX2 alpha version was released. This version was introduced for testing purposes, allowing developers to play around with new tools, provide feedback, and help identify any bugs or issues. Think of it like a movie trailer, but for developers. Months later, on June 17, 2024, the stable version of HTMX2 was released to the world. This version introduced several important changes, such as ending support for Internet Explorer and simplifying some methods for developers, like replacing select and swap with a more streamlined HTMX swap. 
Since its release, HTMX has been adopted by developers, looking for a simpler yet powerful alternative to traditional front-end framework. Instead of dealing with the complexity of the JavaScript-heavy environments used by React or Angular, many developers have found HTMX to be a refreshing change. Despite the positive feedback, HTMX has its limitations, starting with its lack of component reusability and encapsulation compared to React. This makes React a more suitable choice for applications that require a rich user experience with many dynamic components. Some developers have noted that using HTMX features like HXBoost can lead to noticeable lag in content loading for users on slower networks. This lag occurs because HTMX waits for the entire response before updating the page, making it feel slower than traditional Ajax, which updates content incrementally. Additionally, unlike larger frameworks like React or Vue, HTMX doesn't come with a vast library of ready-to-use components. This means developers often have to create their own or carefully integrate third-party tools. However, these integrations must be approached with caution. Otherwise, they might create conflicts with HTMX if they rely on JavaScript frameworks that don't align with HTMX approach. React, on the other hand, has a large ecosystem of libraries and tools that make it easier to work with and improve its functionality. There's also a big community of developers, so finding resources, tutorials, and third-party tools is simple. While HTMX is becoming more popular, its ecosystem is still much smaller than React's. This can make it harder for HTMX developers to find solutions or get community support for certain problems. HTMX is increasing recognition, with over 37,000 stars on GitHub, has raised the question, can HTMX take over JavaScript libraries? According to Carson, the library isn't necessarily intended to replace frameworks but to complement them. The JavaScript ecosystem is vast, with years of development and a strong foundation behind it. Frameworks like React and Vue benefit from vast tooling, plugins, and large developer communities, giving them a significant advantage for complex applications. HTMX can work alongside existing technologies, boosting frameworks like React or Vue by simplifying interactions and reducing the complexity associated with state management. In other words, HTMX isn't aiming for a disruptive takeover of the JavaScript landscape, but rather positioning itself as a valuable tool for handling dynamic behavior directly within HTML. That being said, HTMX continues to evolve. Carson Gross has hinted at future releases that could potentially reduce the need for traditional JavaScript frameworks by making dynamic behaviors accessible through easy-to-understand HTML attributes. HTMX offers a new approach for developers. The simplicity of adding attributes opens up possibilities for more straightforward development without the difficulties of managing complex state. While it may not fully replace frameworks like React or Vue, it is undoubtedly challenging the norms. Developers across the globe are discovering its potential, and as the community continues to grow, HTMX could well become a foundational tool for projects where simplicity is in demand.